Hi everyone, so here I am, I'm back today. Um, I'm going to be showing, doing a little uh, video on the Big Shot machine. Uh, a lot of, some people have asked me what it even is and I completely understand because before I even got one, I didn't even know what it was. But now that I've got one, I have never looked back. It is amazing. Now there's a lot of other machines that are like, the same and do kind of the same thing. So, um, what we're going to do first is have a quick rundown on what it is. Okay, in some of my videos, I've noticed, you've probably noticed it in the background. Um, it's this machine here, and it rolls out like this, and it comes with these two platforms, all right? When you first get them, they are crystal clear like you see from these are all scratched up and that's what it's supposed to do that's a very big lesson that i learned is that when you first use the big shot machine um these do get scratched up you are doing it right i scratched them up for the first time and i was thinking oh my gosh i've done something so wrong what have i done i'm, I'm breaking it but no <laughs> it is very right for them to get scratched up sorry about this line of view here but we'll get there. Um, so both of them are going to get scratched up. The more use you have. This is a they. You come with them. It comes with them, and you can buy replacements um, if and when they crack or you still or something happens or they smash or I don't know. What well, they can't really smash. They're kind of like plastic kind of thing. But um, as you can hear it on here, it's glass. But um. Yes, you can buy replacements and it comes with a two. You can even buy them in different sizes. So if your die is really small, you don't have to use the whole platform and the pressure in here isn't so much on the whole thing, like it's just in that little area. So that's awesome. And this bit, also you can get in um, magnetic because all the dies are, you know, they're... Um, made out of metal I'll show you them in a minute in a minute um, so this is basically your guide and your platform so it shows you how to sandwich everything in there so these bits here are the um, the platforms I just showed you those ones just there and that in blue bit there in the middle that's your piece of paper or card cardstock that little bit there is your actual die and there's this platform down there so that's if you just want to do a normal just a die cut right and um, here is if you want to do some embossing that's using one of these and I'll show you what that is as well okay that's like group making putting a pattern into the paper like it's it grooves it and um, for that you have to actually take this top bit off like well not off but open it up because it's very it's thick so obviously it's not as thick as a die cut but I'll show you that later okay and this is how you put it in there see this opens up this bit opens up like that and you put your card in the middle of it and that's just showing you that there like say if you're making an actual card like a greeting card and you only wanted the pattern on the front so you line it up like that on there so that's how you do that and then you put your um, two platforms in the middle of it and you sandwich the whole thing so your cards in the middle and then you put the two platforms over the top of it and the bottom of it like it shows right there and then you run it through all right and then here that's for thicker um, cutting like chipboard and yeah but I'll go through that later I've never actually cut with chipboard or anything other than cardstock or paper so I'm not really an expert on the thicker materials that you use with it so this bit goes in here for an example let's have a look we want here's some scallops and I'll take out I haven't used these ones yet this and you put your board in pull it out like that here's my cardstock put that down Okay, now this all of the um, 
the die cuts they have this little ridge on the in the middle that's actually what it's what's cutting now that isn't sharp like I can, I can push that down my hand with my fingers as much as I can you not get cut it's not it doesn't cut like that it's not you like a knife or anything like that so don't be afraid of that I can rub my finger on that as much as I can it's not going to do anything to me so that's what that that's what you're going to do um so that's the ridge in the middle there that doesn't cut you um, that's that's where it's actually cutting the shape from so you put that facing down so the ridge bit flat bit up and ridge bit facing down and then you get your other board um, platform and you put it in here so it's sandwiched and then you drive it through and you hold this bit up like that now you're gonna hear some cracking and that is normal too all right that's just the pressure that didn't quite do it then but it does do it trust me all right so we take it out the back like this as you can see it's my platform take this out see that's the hole it made in there put that under here and we have our scallop See? and that's what it does now the kinds of dies that you can get and the shapes that you can get to cut on these the, the limit is endless you can get so many different things what I really really love is how you can cut out complete words now this is a just so you know that's a Kayser Craft die I got that from Spotlight so I'm going to cut out something else just for the hell of it because you know, I love cutting things out, it's my favourite thing to do. And I'm going to do it on a patterned piece of paper. Alright, so put the, the plastic platform down. And I am going to cut out birthday. So you want that to be that way. So you want to do it like. a small one you position it how you want um, you position it sideways because it's a stripy paper you position it sideways diagonal however you want and this is where the bottom if you have a magnetic platform that's where it comes in handy because it can like when you put your dies on there it just like flat on there like obviously it's a magnet so magnet to metal so we do this we put this one through This, this is so fun I love this see that's the thing in the paper and then it's all stuck in the back here so I just get my paper piercer which I, I just use a compass and they have these little dots dots in the back of it I'm not sure if you can see that but I just like to poke them through like that and it pops the the thingy out like that. And you carefully take that out like that. And you just got to get that little bit in there out. Okay. Birthday. So that that always looks really good on the. If you put it on the back or something, but on top of a uh, color. Oh, my focus getting really stupid there. You can't really see that properly, can you? That might be a bit better. There you go. So that's just an example of that. Now, you want to look at embossing. That is something completely... A whole different ball game. All right, let's put this happy birthday bit back in here. Like that. So we don't lose that. Dies are so easy to leave on your table, trust me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use so for embossing, you want to take that out. I might have to move this across just a pad. Right there. 
need a really good table for this. I might not even need all of this paper, obviously, so I'm just going to put that in there and I'm going to tear that off because I don't need all of that. Okay, so as we showed before, you've got to put your platform down and because it's thicker, we had to take this, turn this over. Now you put your cardstock in there. This one's actually was from Kazaz. It's actually a discontinued bossing folder. Um, so you put that in there, and this is like an invitation embossing folder. So you put that in there, and then pull that out a little bit. Just so I can put this one in there, and then we run it through when I've got it all lined up properly. There we go. Run it through like that, and it gets a little bit tight. That's okay. Right. And voila can you see that so that is that pattern on that paper of that and that looks like it's an invitation so that is how you use it it's so easy to use and I love it <laughs> and once you start you can't stop <laughs> um, so it can be used for Belt, fabric, foam, magnet, leather, craft, aluminium, chipboard, metallic foil, vellum, and much, much more. Um, but before you cut with any thicker materials, do do your research. I don't want you stuffing up your machine in any way, shape, or form. Um, yes, so there you go. That is a big shot machine. I hope you like it. Um, I got mine from Spotlight. And they usually are about, well, just for the machine, and they come with the plates anyway. Otherwise, I'm going to get rid of just the machine and the plates. Um, I got mine for 100 um, I know on eBay and everything, you get them in packages. Like, they give you, like, a um, beginner's lot of dies or embossing folders or something like that. But don't get ripped off. Um, you can get dies and embossing folders um, for quite cheap. Um, of course, the nesting dies, which are the, like the scallops that I use them, they're a bit more expensive than, say, the smaller ones by myself. But um, on eBay, you can get a lot of singular dies, um, all sorts of different shapes for only about a few dollars each. And they come from China, and they're just as good as any other die. I wouldn't do anything else like I love them and um, I just for an example all right. this pram one here I got that from eBay the flag there I got from eBay um, the set of butterflies there I got from eBay um, you know there's a lot of them you can get from eBay and it's so fun to do so any questions do leave me a comment um, I know this is probably the best quality of video I hope it wasn't too bad though I have a hard time finding the best time to record because my window is right there and the Sun's just going down um, and you know when you have a family it's like really hard to find a quiet time to yourself so <laughs> this is the best I could do but if you do have any questions or if anything you want me to do is slower or um, explain something a little bit better I might have missed something important let me know and comment give me a like subscribe and I will see you soon for another video